you have seven wives. Mm -hmm. You're 48 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, according to your answer, I needed a scorecard in my head. Let's see if I've got some of the facts right. You married three sets of sisters, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. You married the two youngest, the two children of your fourth wife, so you were their stepfather. And those, the, your two youngest wives are your two stepdaughters from your fourth wife. Is that right? Not exactly right. Well, um, let me look at your answer, sir. You say your two youngest wives are the children of your fourth wife, June. But they're not. But they're not my youngest wives. And, oh. And one of them he married before he married you. You see, it wasn't that I married my stepdaughter. It was that I married my mother-in-law. I see. June's so you were married to one of June's children first. Yes. And how old was that child when you oh, married was her? Her daughter. How old was the child when her, you married her? Her daughter. Her daughter yes. was. Her daughter was fifteen. And how old were you? Uh. I was in my mid-30s. Okay. Uh, and then after you married that child at age 15, then you married I her mother, I can see you June. Like the, I, I can see you like stigmatizing them by saying child. Well, sir, in, I in had five state, children. A 14, a 15-year-old, you married your second mm -hmm. wife, Linda, when she was 14. Mm -hmm. You married your third wife, Shirley, when she was 15, according to your answer. Mm -hmm. You married your fifth wife, Leanne, when she was 14. Mm -hmm. You married your sixth wife, Carrie, when she was 15. And you married Hannah, wife number seven, when she was 14. Where's Hannah? Hi, Hannah. That's, That's you. Correct. You're 19 now. Yes. You have one child. Yes. And where's Carrie? Right here. And you're 21 now, and you have two children. I'm 20, and I have two children, yes. And Leanne? Right here. You're 22, you have three children. You were 14 when you got married. Is that right? Well, um, sir, you know that polygamy is against the law, against Should the law in the country where you choose to live. I don't think so. Well, tell me why you don't think so. Well, I don't think there's a law in the U.S. Code against polygamy. Well, there, it, there, it is there against is the law in every jurisdiction, mm -hmm. in every individual jurisdiction in this country, sir. It's against the law to have more than one marriage license and assume to have both of them valid, but it's not against the law to enter into a relationship with more than one person. That's true. So then, oh, that's true. We have a lot of people who have a lot of relationships, Mr. Green. That's true. But you, according to your answer, refer to these people as wife numbers one well, through seven. Are we going to talk about my definition of my relationship or the laws? If you want to talk about the laws... I don't have a marriage license with any of these ladies, so in essence, they're all mistresses. Am I the only man in America to have a mistress or more than one? Oh, right. Are there laws against that? You see, so in, that, in Utah, so that what you're saying, Mr. Green, you know, judge, is, in Utah, just a second. What you're saying, Mr. Green, is that you're not married to any of these women. In my, in what? my mind, I'm married. Our relationship is the same as if it was a, a marriage sanctioned by the government, but I don't believe that we require a governmental sanction to make a successful relationship. Oh. If the government wanted to arrest us and come after us, they would have to arrest everyone that was cohabitating without a marriage license. Oh, well, I see you've got this down pretty pat. Mr. Green, yes, ma tell me some other things about you, sir. Tell me what you do for a living. I sell magazines. Okay. Uh, you're an independent contractor? Yes. Did you file tax returns last year? Yes. How much did you earn? That's personal. No, it's not. You're under oath. I asked you a question. Mm -hmm. How much did you earn when you filed your tax returns last mm -hmm. year, sir? Um, I refuse to discuss my personal finances. Tom Green has seven wives and 20 children, including two sisters he married in their early teens. Well, then let me go on a little bit further. Who's June? I'm here. How old are you, June? Forty-five. How long have you been together with Tom? Ten years. What did you do prior to getting together with Tom? I was married in another polygamous relationship. Mm -hmm. Did you ever work? Yes, I did. What kind of work did you do? I worked in a sewing factory for ten years, and then I also worked in a rest home for another ten years. What do you do now? I work in the magazine business. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> now I'm going to go down just one second. I have to take a look at some of these documents. June, did you ever apply for welfare? Yes, I have. And when was the last time you applied for welfare? Uh, about a year ago. And how much do you collect from welfare now? About 400. 400 a month. Is that for you and how many children? Four. Don't speak, sir, unless I speak to you. Okay. Tell me your name again. June. Your name? Mine. My name is Leanne. Leanne, how much do you collect from welfare? I don't make sure I you need tell me to answer that. Make sure you tell me the truth. I don't oh, if you don't want to answer my questions, I this won't. will be over. <laughs> then let it so be. Well, let it so be. <laughs> let me tell you this. Let it so be over. Because one of the things that I find very interesting, Mr. Green, is that I know that each of your wives, as well as all of your 20 children, I support. That's not true, man. Oh, sir. I know I support your children. That isn't true. If they get welfare, sir, then I support them. If they, they don't. get welfare, then I support them. Then all the taxpayers here are supporting your lifestyle, a lifestyle that you decided mm -hmm. to embrace because you think that that's fine. And it may be, as long as you don't impose your lifestyle on innocent people. Let's not even talk about the fact that you marry children. Let's talk about the fact that taxpayers support your proliferation of children. How do you respond to that, sir? Your Honor, in, I, in my state, 14 is the legal age for marriage. Talk the, about money. How do you, okay. ha, sir, but how do you justify... To, to how children. Do, how and, do you justify... And there are some, okay, let me talk about money. There are some of my wives who do receive some food stamps from the government. Not all of my wives receive assistance from the government. Not all of my children receive assistance from the government. Well, since you won't let your wives answer the question, sir, about how many do and how many don't, I know how many do and how many don't, according to you, are subsidized your by Honor, welfare or food stamps. Some of my children do receive some benefits from the government, and our income level qualifies for that. They're not the only children in America who receive assistance. There's, a lot, there's millions of people. One in ten families in the, in the United States receives governmental assistance for their children. Is How many men have 20 children and seven wives, sir? Not very many. How That's many, absolutely How many right. men have children with women that they don't take care of and they don't claim? How many young and those, women have, and those women have to go be on assistance also? How many young teenage girls go out there just to get pregnant and to figure, oh, well, the government will pay for it. I'm not going to have a father for my kids or anything like well, that. Do you but think? The government will be there for me. Do you I'm want a response? Pregnant. Do you want a response to that? Do you want a response to that? The response is that this is an intelligent man prepared to debate what I consider a very intelligent woman, and this intelligent man has chosen a lifestyle that he knows is against the civil law. He maintains a household with seven people who he referred to in a sworn complaint as wife. He makes babies, mm -hmm. 20 of them, and he can't afford to take care of them. And he doesn't say to himself, I have enough children. I can't take care of them hey, all. Hey, Judy. Yes. If, if God came and told you to do something, and yes. the government of the United States told you to do something else, which would you do? Let me explain something to you. What's talking to Mr. Green is not God. What's talking to him is down a little bit lower. This case is over. That's all. One dry excuse. Step out. That's all. Step out, Max. Back door to your right.